Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today, today we are playing for the first time after the update that happened with Scar and the new Star Path. Now, not gonna lie, I've been playing a couple days offline, just, you know, grinding it out, working on my Star Path. Um, but I wanted to see if the actual storyline and unlocking Scar for you guys. So I've purposely been avoiding the Sunlight Plateau until this video. So yeah, super exciting. But first things first, we have to go back and rescue Elsa and Anna from the Frozen Realm because that's where we left off the last time. So we're going to go to them first and then we'll get to Scar. So um, last time where we left off, I was getting wind chimes for Elsa. Well, I've crafted the three wind chimes now. So now we just got to skedaddle on over back to the Frozen Realm and see what's next. All right, so we're here and we need to talk to Elsa. There's all three wind chimes in different trees near her. Okay, well, let's go find her. Also, since the game update, my hair has got this uh, glitch going on. So like usually my character's hair is black, but as you can see, it's got this ombre effect going on. Not really sure what that's about. Also got this red dress because, you know, we cute. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with my hair. I haven't tried to change it or anything because I think it's kind of cool, but that is not what my character's hair is supposed to look like. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, let's go find Elsa. I think she's all the way, like, back here somewhere. Alright, so I find Elsa. Freaking finally. I feel like it took me forever to get here. Um, we're just gonna... Oh yes, these chimes over here, and, oh, what is going on? And over here, basically just wherever it's sparkling, because that's kind of how you know where you're going. And there should be, is it this tree? No. Come on guys, one more tree, where is it? This one, alrighty. Here we go. Ooh, the wind. We cleared it up nice. And I <laughs> totally blend into this environment with this dress. Oh my goodness. Um, cute. Okay, let's go talk to Elsa. Hi there. Thank you for helping me calm Gil. The spirits of nature are back in harmony. And the enchanted forest is in balance again. Sounds like your work is done here. Why not come to visit my village? I want to bring balance there too. I'd love to visit your village, but for now, my place is here in the Enchanted Forest. I have to make sure that nothing else goes wrong. But after all you've done to help, I am rather curious about where you came from. I promise to visit your village one day. Congratulations! Oh, okay. So we're not bringing Elsa to the village today? Uh, fine. We are going to talk to Anna though. Anna's going to come with us. She's going to get reunited with Kristoff. Let's get that going. Um, Anna is all the way back this way. I kind of want to pick this. What is this? Garlic. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, so there's also stuff I left like undug and like unmined. Like there's all this stuff that I feel like I should probably get to at some point. Um, just because like it's good resources and stuff. I think like other people have said that they've just come back and like dug up all the stuff and everything um so yeah I might do that just not at this moment in time if I could find my way out of here that would be amazing I I literally dug like the minimum needed to get through this place uh to get to Elsa in the first place so me finding my way out is impossible <laughs> I think we go this way I didn't cross this bridge before did I who knows? No, I didn't. Okay, I think we're... No, this is where Elsa is at... Oh, oh my god. I'm lost. <laughs> uh, love that for me. Right, okay, finally. I can get my way back to the clearing. Oh my goodness, it took so long to get here. I don't know what's going on with this realm, but it is... I mean, it's pretty... And I think I look cute in it, but at the same time, I'm like, bro, this is a maze. It's huge in here. Okay, let's talk to Anna. Hi. 
Wow, everything appears calm. Thank you so much for your help. Of course, for Elsa and me, there's always another adventure waiting around the corner. I wonder what it'll be this time. Well, I come from this place called Dreamlight Valley, and... Kristoff is there. Kristoff's there? Why didn't you lead with that? And what is he doing there? I have to go to your village. Will you take me right now? Of course. Thank you. Please, lead the way. Let's go. To Kristoff. Welcome, Anna. That was amazing. That was so quick. Okay. Let's do it. Is it gonna do it? There we go. Hello, Anna. Cute. Oh, and I, oh, this is new. They changed the camera. They changed the camera vibes. I don't know what this is about. I think it gives you more control. <laughs> yeah, we got different facial expressions and stuff now. That's cool. We'll do like a cute wink. Oh, we can have filters and everything. Oh, that's so fancy. Okay. Oh, and we can do like a wide. Ooh, bro, this is weird. How do I take the photo? <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, what? Trick or treat? What is that? That's new. What? 9 out of 10. I haven't, I haven't done that. Or at least I haven't... Um, like, I haven't intentionally done that. That's new. What is that? What does that mean? Who knows? Oh, maybe it has something to do with the with the new star pile. Strange. I don't know what the, what the trick or treat thing is, but okay. Anyway, um, let's talk to Anna. <laughs> let's not get distracted by things. Uh, oh wow, this place is so different from Arendelle, and yet it feels oddly familiar. Wait, I've been here before, haven't I? Before the forgetting, of course. I remember now. Do you? Thank you so much for bringing me here. I'll see you soon. But right now, I have to go find Kristoff. There's something I need to warn you about, Anna. <gasps> His memories. He doesn't remember her. <gasps> Ooh, tea. Uh, <laughs> it's a long story, but to see the village, Kristoff had to give up his memories of you. It was all part of a magic spell. Oh my God, speaking of Kristoff. Hey, bro. He's just right there. Cute. Um, it was all part of a magic spell. He won't remember who you are. I'm sorry. It's not his fault. What? No, that isn't possible. I'm sure he would do everything he could to see of this place. But I don't care what kind of magic spell Kristoff is under. Our love isn't fragile. When he sees my fears, he'll remember me. Right. Oh, that was more like a question. I read that wrong. Uh, right? <laughs> uh, you're right. Love is the most powerful magic. I'll just go talk to him. Thanks for the warning, Courtney. Okay. Cool. Um, also reached level 10 with Moana when I wasn't, uh, when I was playing offline. So we're going to talk to Moana because she's right here so we can get her class underway. Then we're going to go to Scar and yeah, it's going to be a good old time in the valley. So let's talk to Moana. Courtney, I've been thinking about you. You know all those leader shards we've been collecting? I finally remembered what they're for. Want to know? Yes, definitely. On my island, Montanui, we have a tradition. On the tallest mountain, there's a stack of stones. Oh my goodness, the stones, of course. Each new chief lays their own stone on the stack. When you do, you raise the whole island higher. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I, I understand the logic, but physically placing stones on top of one another, that like gets heavy and then the grind sinks down. So really you're bringing the island a little bit under, <laughs> like a little bit under the grind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, now I see that the leader shards are like these stones. Each one is an act of leadership, and together they make you a leader. So we need to stack the leader shards? Yes, but it's more than that. We need to stack the leader shards in an honored place. We don't have one on the island, so we should build it. There's one more thing. What's that? I think you should be honored as a leader alongside me because you're a great leader. Okay. Thank you. It means a lot to hear you say that. But if you want me to be a part of this, you'll have to go back to the island where we met. My shard should be a conch shell. 
If you find one, use it when you build the honored place. That way, I'll always be with you. We'll support each other. When you've got everything, find a spot for the honor place near your home and come find me. Oh, and here, take the leader shards back. You'll need them to complete the celebration. Okay. Cool. Cool. Ugh. We need iron ingot for this. I don't have... I mean, I have seven iron pieces, but I need a lot more of it if I'm going to make those so cool. We're going to put Moana's quest on hold. And we're going to go over and we're going to unlock Scar because really that's the reason why I was filming today. Well, that and to finish the Anna and Elsa thing. But really, <laughs> the game updated. We're here for the new content, so let's go. So here we are in the Sunlit Plateau and we're going to investigate the giant skull, which is right here. Oh, lighting change. Interesting. Enter. Dun dun dun! <gasps> there he is! Talk to Scar! Well, well, if it isn't Courtney, it's been far too long since you came around to visit. Ah, so he just immediately knows who I am. Forgetting be damned. I was beginning to think he'd leave me trapped in here forever. Oh, also, when I first started the game after the update, there was a cutscene for Sunlit Plateau. Um. Obviously, when I first unlocked some Lit Plateau a few episodes ago, nothing happened, but that's because Scar wasn't put in the game yet, but yeah, there was a cutscene. Um, unfortunately, it only plays the one time, so I can't really go back and show you, but that was the thing. Anyway, uh, so we locked him in here. Scar? <laughs> ah, so you do remember me. No, we don't. Before the forgetting, you were one of my most loyal assistants. Interesting. When I ruled over this entire valley, he ruled over this entire valley? Ooh. Really? Absolutely. Why, I may have let you watch over the rest of the village. <laughs> but when it came to the Sunlit Plateau, everyone knows that I'm the rightful king. Oh, I see. Of course, there's little worth ruling over here since the river dried up. What happened to the river? I can only presume that something's blocking it, and the land has grown so parched that there's no prey. Without water, there's no life. The power within the pillar of nurturing has died out. Ah, another pillar. Cool. And now there's all sorts of pesky dark power in the air. If someone doesn't fix this soon, the whole plateau will become an arid wasteland. And the most tragic part is, it's all your fault. <laughs> of course, it's my fault. Everything's my fault. I left the valley. Everything just crumbled without my presence. Uh, my fault. What? Yes. This all began when you abandoned the valley. Of course, of course. Though perhaps with my guidance, you can set it all right. What should I... Or why should I help you? Because it's your place in the food chain. The valley was a far better place when I rolled it with you at my side. Hmm, I could always use more help around here. You see, it's a fine arrangement. A quid pro quo, as it were. Of course, if you're still not convinced... Then don't do it for me. Do it to help the village. Restoring the Sunlight Plateau will make life so much better for everyone. Isn't that what a good ruler ought to do, Courtney? Hmm. Why did the pillar dry out? Because it's connected to the river that runs through the plateau. Without water, the pillar has utterly broken. And it seems to be connected to all the life on the plateau. When one flourishes, so does the other. But when one is broken... Huh, so they're connected to each other. Feeding off each other in a balance. Almost like some sort of circle of life Ugh, yes but don't ever say that phrase in my presence again all the annoyance started when something blocked the river i have no idea what it could be but i do know that it began at the same time as the forgetting and not long after those blasted rocks fell on my lair i've been trapped in here ever since now wasn't that also when you abandoned the village okay we get it i'm a terrible person for abandoning the village that i don't even remember abandoning we're the worst ruler in the world um, I'm sorry I didn't mean to cause this. Oh, I know you didn't, Courtney. It seems disaster just naturally follows you. You know what? He ain't wrong. In my real life currently, like, I ain't doing the best. <laughs> well, like, literally the other day, I, like, fell, and I've hurt my ankle, and then earlier today, I almost choked on something, and I was like, great, I'm living the best life right now, and then work is terrible and everything. You know what? I understand. Yes, disaster is actually following me. 
<laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> but if you fix all this, it might make up for the trouble you've caused. Just tell me what I need to do. <sighs> Must I do everything myself? Find out what's blocking the river. The water flows from the depths of the Vitalis mines beneath the cliffs on the summit plateau. There are mines beneath the cliffs? What did they mine in there? I haven't the faintest idea, as it was nothing of value to me. Search the mines until you find what's blocking the flow of the river. We have mines? Okay. Uh, and then, and um, don't forget this part. What is it? <laughs> Fix it. Okay, okay, bro, okay. Only then you will restore life to my kingdom and earn your way back into my good graces. Run along now. Okay, bro. So we have mines in this game? Like, what is this, Stardew Valley? Like, what the heck? Let's go figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go to this, the cliffs. Um, here? Oh, hey. This must also be in the update. This is new. I don't remember seeing this. Let's go. Ooh. <gasps> cute. This is not supposed to be cute, but... <laughs> it looks cute to me. Uh, wow. Okay, okay. Um, let's, let's explore the mines then, lads. I feel like I'm not dressed for this. And part of me wants to dress for the occasion, because you know I like to do that, but I don't really have clothes to be mining in. Like, do I have any costumes that would suit this? I mean, we have overalls of fishing waders. Put the overalls on, and we'll get, like, some boots. Although the boots are kind of high. Um, we'll wear them anyway. And yeah, you know what? We're just changing our outfit because that's the vibe. Uh, Alright, so we're exploring the mines. Just gonna wander around. I'm actually. Ooh, what the heck? What is this? Can I mine this? Oh, I can mine this. <gasps> oh, what are these? Oh, we got some gold. What is this? A crystal. Cool. All right, okay, we can't go that way. Um, can we go this one? Oh yeah. Cool. So we got mines now. Um. I mean. It's definitely not the same as Stardew Valley because in Stardew Valley the mines are levels and there's like creatures in there that try to attack you but like this is interesting. I wonder how far we need to go in here to explore or if I'm even going in the right direction. Who knows? Ooh, crossroads. Well, there's a chest over here. Oh, okay, I can't get to the chest because it's, it's blocked off. Okay, fab. Uh, oh, there's a chest right here. Nice. Coins, fab. Okay. Um, this way. Night thorns. Oh, did I even... Did I even get what dropped out of that? I have no idea. Keep going. Another crossroads situation. That's a dead end. What's this way? Ooh. Are we getting any closer to where I need to be. Like, I feel like I just walked in a big circle. Um, let's go up this way. Okay, I feel like this is where we we're meant to be. Check the sign next to the barrel in the mines. What does it say? Oh, if the water is blocked, please read. <laughs> cool. These night thorns are getting worse and worse, but don't worry. I know how to stop them. I spilled some of my root beer on them and they shriveled up a little. If we can make a whole lot more root beer and use some of these candies to get it all fizzy, well, I bet we could get rid of these night thorn roots. I left all the ingredients in the chest at camp. I just hope I can put it all together in the spiral before the forgetting gets to me too. 
convenient. Okay, search the camp in the mines for the ingredients. And he left the recipe in a camp in the mines. I have to find that. Okay, so we're doing lots today. Um, that's fun though. Uh, we like a little storyline. What the heck is this way? I'm gonna say we can't get that way. <laughs> um, fog or dead end train lines usually means we can't get anywhere. So let's go this way. Um, I guess this would be the camp. So this must be the recipe. Oh, and ingredients. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Root beer recipe. How do we make root beer? Okay, so we need ginger, sugar cane, and vanilla, I think. So I do have those. So we have ginger. Um, also, while I've been playing offline, I've been doing a lot of farming. So we have one money <laughs> and two ingredients. So that's cool. That's exciting. Um, we made our little root beer extra fizzy and now we have to talk to Merlin really I thought we could just like stick the stuff in a barrel and get get going but I guess not can we leave out this way uh <laughs> no no okay I guess when the river starts flowing again we will be able to go out and such but for now I know we can't we have to go ex the whole way back where we came so yeah uh, let's leave the mines and go talk to Merlin. Can I? No, I can't. I was going to be like, can I teleport out of here? But I cannot open my map inside. So, fair, fair. Alright, so we're out of the mines. Now we have to go talk to Merlin. Merlin's at his house, so let's just skedaddle on down. Also, guys... Merlin's house got a makeover. Like, look at this. I thought this was so much cuter than what he had before. It looks a lot nicer. So, yeah. Merlin did a little bit of a makeover. It's cute. Um, let's go talk to him. Oh, hello. Courtney, I suspect you're dealing with another matter that might decide the fate of the whole village. Bro, what am I not doing something that decides the fate of this whole village? Oh my goodness. Um... <laughs> But I suppose that's just all in a day's work for you. Exactly, bro. This is my whole life. Uh, I found a certain surly lion in the giant skull in the elephant graveyard. A lion? You can possibly mean Scar? That's right. He asked me for help to restore the Sunlight Plateau. Be very wary, my friend. Scar is just as treacherous as Ursula. He's not working with you out of kindness. There's always something in it for him. You know, he never talks this way about Mother Gothel. Mother Gothel is arguably worse than Ursula. Um, okay. Uh, duly noted, I'll watch my back. Good. The number of villains in the village is growing. We must take heed. He's not wrong. There are quite a few villains now. But it's fine. It'll even out whenever Woody and Buzz get here from the Toy Story update, which is happening in, like, November, December time. Um, anyway. Uh, of all the villains in the valley, I have a special aversion to Scar. He refuses to learn my name and insists on referring to me as the windbag with the pointy blue head feather and the unkempt white mane. <laughs> Love that. That's a really long way to avoid saying your name, bro, though. Like, honestly, you... I mean, I'd just rather call you Merlin at that point. That was really hard to say. <laughs> anyway, uh, rude indeed. Now, what did Scar tell you? He told me that if I wanted to restore life to the pillar of nurturing, I'd have to fix whatever was blocking the river in the Vitalis Mines. The Vitalis Mines? Good gracious, I've forgotten all about those. That's because they didn't exist until the update. Okay. Uh, I went inside and explored them. They're huge. That they are. Hmm. I wish I could remember what was mined in there. The river's being blocked by the roots of some giant nightthorns that grew down from the cliffs above. My magic doesn't seem to work on them. I see, I see. Well, perhaps some more mundane substance could kill the night thorns at their roots. I find a note someone left tacked up on the mine. A bunch of ingredients lying around, some crackling candies, and a recipe for extra fizzy root beer. Brilliant, this means your job is already half complete. Before you arrived, there was only one way we could keep the night thorns at bay. Sugary carbonated beverages. <laughs> huh, really? Like, root beer? Precisely. The fizzier, the better. Of course, they only worked on the smallest, least virulent night thorns. 
but if you use that recipe to whip up some specifically fizzy root beer and combine it with a crackling candy, well that just might be enough to stop this problem at its root. Okay. Well, I definitely already crafted the root beer and now I have to go all the way back to the mines. Um, which is kind of annoying. Like, I was just going to do that anyway. Why do we have to consult with Merlin on that? As if it, like, as if he just knows that it's going to work. Like, the note said it would work. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, back to the mines. Alright, here we go. We've got the root beer and we've got the candy. And we are going to blow this thing. Let's do it! <laughs> I definitely expected that to be a bigger explosion, but okay. And the water! It's flowing! We did it. Return to Sunlit Plateau to see if the river's been restored. Absolutely. Okay. So we go down. And we can now go across the bridge that's over here because the river has flowed and raised it. So we can go over here. We can see what's in this chest. Ooh, clothing. Let me see. Also, now your inventory stays open when you open uh, chests, which is cool. Uh, we just got a fedora. Nice. Um... Okay, <laughs> I thought we could still cut across here to get out of the mines, but I guess not. So let's go the whole way back around and see what the crack is. <gasps> yeah, got the water flowing again. Ooh, <gasps> who the heck is that? <gasps> what the heck? Is that, is that an evil version of me? What the heck was that? Bro! Are you kidding me? For some reason, the way that I have my videos set up, um, I can't actually hear sound coming from the TV or anything right now. So I don't know what the sound is like at the minute. So there's probably funky music or something to go along with that, but I just can't hear it. Uh, let's go inside the portal. <gasps> Bro! What the heck? <gasps> a dark version of the Dreamlight Castle? Bro! What is this? Where are we? The, the Forgotten Drop something? What the? Is that what, is that what we're calling it? Jesus. This is wild, bro. Are you kidding? Like, what the heck? Um, that is the wrong tool we need right now. Okay. We're going, we're going. This is like crazy. <laughs> Just not expecting this. Okay, what is this? What now? Return to drink. Okay. Are you sure we can just like bust through the night thorns? I really want to know what's going on with this world. What the heck is this? Okay, exit. And of course the portal is gone, of course. Uh, let's go back to Merlin that's showing what the heck is going on. <sighs> this time I do actually want Merlin to tell me what the crack is because I clearly have no idea. Hello Merlin. Lifeless orb of nurturing, okay. Interesting, so this is the orb. Ah, I see you solved the problem with the river and the sunlit plateau. But by the look on your face, I know there's something else bothering you. Come on, out with it. As I was coming out of the Vitalis mines, I saw the Forgotten. Astounding. Well, don't stop there. What happened next? So yeah, the forgetting is like a person, right? Like me? Like a, like a demon version of me? <laughs> uh, Merlin, the Forgotten looked just like... Like... Me. <laughs> like you? Oh dear, this is very perplexing, Courtney. Let me consider this. 
Um, well, it's possible that the Forgotten is a splinter of yourself that stayed behind when you left the valley long ago. Interesting. A splinter of myself? How? As we grow up, there are always part of ourselves that we leave behind. Pieces of us that no longer, I suppose you could say, fit. Bro, this is getting deep. But just because we're finished with a part of ourselves, it doesn't mean that part of ourselves is finished with us. Ooh, demons. In your case, this may all be manifesting itself a bit more literally. Merlin, is this all my fault? No, no, Courtney. I assure you none of this is your fault. Cause and effect is tricky. The simplest action can lead to unexpected reactions. And here in the valley, things are especially complicated. All that matters is what you hold in your heart. We all know that you only want what's best for the village. Yeah, of course. We have to fix this. Well, I've always known that the key to restoring our valley lies with you, Courtney. Well, speaking of restoring Dreamlight Valley, the Forgotten dropped this. Ah, the Orb of Nurturing. With this, we can restore the pillar in the Sunlight Plateau. Not so fast. Something's wrong with it. It's all dim inside. Yes, I see. Well, this orb feeds off of natural life. When you first placed it in the pillar in the Sunlight Plateau, it took quite a long time to thrive. But once it did, it turned a dry desert into a lush oasis. You must plant it in the ground before the pillar and let nature take its course. Sounds like that's going to take a while. Well, yes, but there's no reason we can't help out nature with a bit of magic nurture. What do you mean? I finally remember what we used to get from the Vitalis Mines. It wasn't rare gems or precious metals. There are crystals that grow there. When combined with a few other magical ingredients, they bring life to the flora around the village at much greater speeds. What might have taken months will take mere days. Now first I'll have to dig up some Vitalis crystals from the mines. Okay, well we already have one of those, so that's something. Then use them to create the miracle growth elixir. I took it upon myself to find the recipe after we spoke earlier. Once you've done all that, speak to me and I'll tell you the next step. Thank you. Thank okay. Time. That was a lot of information. <laughs> but it looks like we're in good standing to get the stuff for this quest. I mean, we have the dream light. We have the soil. We just need to get some crystals. So, yeah, cool. Um, okay, well, with all of that, I'm actually going to end this part of the Let's Play here. Um... We've done a lot of things. We've learned a lot about the valley. And so, yeah, uh, I think it's a good place to end it. Naturally, I'll be back right away because I'm not done here. We have lots to do. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And like I said, I will see you very soon with some more Disney Dreamlight Valley. Bye, guys. <laughs>